<gasps> huh. huh. Oh my gosh. Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Huh. Huh. And I think we had a ghost. What was that? Oh my gosh, it played the villager hurt sound like there was a villager city. Like there was an invisible villager there, but I didn't get the villager hurt particles. Oh gosh, I think I had a phantom villager. Hello everyone. Um, if you watched, huh, my uh, artic my article, my video last last video was on the MS walk and my fundraising activities for that. So it wasn't exactly a normal episode of Minecraft Land Party. Um, you know that when I when I logged in, walking around over there, I had a villager, a little brown coat villager, that I thought was maybe this guy. This guy. Um, I put him in a boat, sailed him over here, and then I went off and recorded um, me talking about the Walk MS, my fundraiser, and my RPM Challenge album. Um, I will be putting a link to that video in the... Wow, that's, that's not creepy looking at all. Hi, are you going to look at me? Yeah, okay. Um... Oh. Um... Yeah, so I'll I'll put links to all that in the in the description. Um, so what are we doing this time? Oh, that's right. I was I was doing some of this. I'm sorry. I'm a little discombobulated. That villager thing was kind of strange. Anyway, there's a villager plop over there. I put him in a boat, sail him over here, and said, "You stay here while I go do other stuff." Munch, munch, munch. And um, and then when I came back from doing the other stuff, the boat was sitting there empty, and I broke the boat. And it sounded like I heard a villager, but yeah, I don't know. I think that was just a little glitch. I should maybe restart my game or the or the server. I don't know. Okay, what are we going to talk about this time? I think this will be a short episode. But then I say that and then I record for like an hour and a half and then I have to figure out how to get it cut down to something that somebody actually has a chance of watching. Um... So, this is the carrot farm, and I've started building the item elevator that goes up, uh, and I wanted to show you my solution, how I came up and, and sort of dealt with all this. I don't have things turned on right now, so this has got potatoes in it. Yeah, this is my potato farm, so that's why there are potatoes in there. So I have my soul sand, my bubble column going up, and then each layer of the farm, the villager comes and does his little thing, and it gets collected, and it goes through the hoppers down there, and I've got it feeding into this dropper. It goes in, it's pushing sideways into the side of this uh, soul sand so that it goes bloop, and if I put, if I replace this torch that I have right here with a repeater that will power this block and then therefore this piston and pushes these two observers into each other, it will then start um, It does work, right? Hang on a second, I'm sorry, I'm having a momentary crisis of faith here. There were only 12 there, so let me do this. Yeah, it works. Okay. Okay, good. Now I I've been disabling these because I'm gonna build a few more. So let's let's climb up to the top there and see what we got. And there's potatoes. And I've got 16 potatoes because a few more came in afterwards. So they go up and they do their thing. So, but what about the other layers? You might ask or not. So here's, here's what I've been doing. 
I came up with a way. I wanted to avoid as many places as possible having a gap in the walls surrounding the water column because I didn't want things popping out through the corners. I don't know if that's a problem here, but I know that if... Ow! Okay, climb up to the top again. So I know that if... How do I... I don't, this isn't planned out very well. Okay. So really, these corners aren't super necessary for this. Um, items that come up through here can, if they come up and... Um, if, there, if there's a block here that isn't quite a full block, it can... Items can kind of get caught in there and, and squirt out. So hoppers coming in through the center of this is a problem. However, we do have to get the other layers long. So here's what I came up with. Instead of having them feed a dropper underneath or from the side, from the, the back side, I haven't brought around to the side. That's a dropper pointing in and it has some stuff in it, but I have no way of... Oh, actually, can I see it there? Yeah, so it's got, you know, it's got a stack and a quarter. Um, and then I just do the same sort of thing here. Um, and fortunately, you can pull... The comparator can pull the status of a, a basically the, the how full the dropper is through another block. And this, this allowed me to put a full saw block here so I don't have like an empty space with just a comparator in it. And then I'll stick a repeater right here. And then this pushes here, ticks that block, which ticks the dropper, and we'll send it up. Whew. Works super nicely, right? Um, and I think I have all the pieces I need to make another an, another one, another layer. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to stick those in there. And um, yeah, so we'll see. I should have, once again, I should have practiced this before coming on camera. But I've got, I've got lots of bits and pieces. So let's see if, we, if I have everything I need to do this. So it's relatively straightforward, right? Um... So I can basically build it up a layer at a time. And I don't need to be using glass here. I just, I just, I don't know. Um, oops. I happen to like using glass for item elevators. Um, mostly because that's the way it used to be. And of course, I don't have a dropper in my pocket. So I'm going to have to go fix that. Um, but. Yeah. Let me go. Let me go do that. And. Right, be right back. Somehow, I don't happen to have any... I didn't bring any more droppers. I don't know why. Um, I have... I sort of created a box here for each layer of the farm, and then I had a box down there for the shulker box loader, and I guess I didn't really think about the item elevator. Anyway, so I had to dip in my redstone box, choker box, but that's fine. That's what it's there for, so I don't have to go all the way home and craft a bunch of droppers. Okay, so then when I put a dropper here, pointing in, and I can put a hopper. Please tell me I have hoppers. Yes, of course. Okay, and then I can put a hopper into the side of that, and then he'll start filling up eventually. Aha. Yeah, if, if I didn't have stupid things like that. Okay, so uh, I need to get over there. Okay, so we can do this, and then we can do this. Now I've got a bunch of potatoes in my pocket. They were in one of those droppers, or hoppers. Cool. And you see, I've got ladders all over the place. This one gets you down in behind the item elevator and you can't get out. So I need to I need to fill in this column here and remove all those ladders. I Wow, they're going they're going like crazy. Okay, so now um come up here. And of course, once I get this all built, this becomes kind of a non-issue. So yeah, this dropper's filling up. Very good. So now I've got space here where I can put in water. And the bubble column comes up. Very good. And then I can continue building up. But 
in the meantime, I need to build... I will do this so I don't lose all kinds of stuff. I have room up here. Yeah. Blop. And then I need to take out some of this stuff because I need to put in my little platform down one layer down below. At some point, I'm going to have to do something about all that lava over there. I've started mining out some obsidian, but we need more than that. Okay, so here, I can take out this... Uh, Block of glass. <laughs> yeah, see, just getting around is kind of a pain in the butt. Okay. And then... I want to put in that spot. I've got some stone bricks. Plop. And then this is where my little platform goes. Ha. And... Yeah, how big do I need to make it? It needs to be... Yeah, that'll work. I'm going to take these out too, just so that they're hanging up there. And I like using stone bricks for this kind of stuff because that way it becomes obvious. Uh, do that. Right. Yeah, and then down below. So I'm digging through these this stone here and I come across stone bricks. It, it should be a warning like, hey, there's something like there's something you built here on purpose. That's the idea. Okay. And we'll get that other stuff. So, as I said, we have determined that if I had a comparator in my pocket, <laughs> we could read the fullness of that dropper. If I had a comparator in my pocket, like, say, this one here, do I need any other stuff here? I've got sticky pistons. I've got observers. Do I have observers in my pocket? No, I don't. Why not? I am so unprepared for this. It's not even funny. Okay. Well, I've got... I think I have observers in my redstone box. I should. That is the plan. So. Redstone box. Oh, no. I have the... Okay. So let's put down the comparator. And I'm going to have to get prepared to do the rest of these. And then I'm just going to put a torch right here. This would be a repeater. Um, and then this is a just a block. And then here I have put a sticky piston. Blop. And then I need to put in two observers. Um, and they need to be like... Oh, that's right. Let me get my redstone box here. And I have observers. Blop, blop. And we can put these back for the time being. And I put this box block here as a temporary block because it's easier to place the observer facing the right direction. Easier not uh, foolproof, clearly. There we go. There we go. Oh, and it ticked. So there's a potato floating up here. Oh, shoot. Okay. <clears throat> Very nice. Okay. So anyway, obviously it works. So when I'm ready to arm this thing, I just replace this torch with a repeater. And I'm going to put... Not a potato. I'm going to put a torch here. And I'm going to put a torch here. And I will probably go back and replace those torches with slabs. And then I need to continue digging up. And I take out this one and put another one in there. So anyway, that's uh, that's how the item elevator is going to work. It's probably a little over-engineered, honestly. But hey. Uh, so clearly, I need some more supplies. Because I don't have enough things. Um, and... What's the light level here? This should be fine, right? Because it's... Yeah. Oops. Ah. There we go. Sorry about that. Oh, cough coming on. <coughs> okay. All right. So I will probably cut some of that out. Oh. Pick up blocks. I had a 
piece of glass. Where I had a piece of glass that fell somewhere here, right? Did I get that already, or it's lost to the ages? I don't know. All right. Well, there we go. So that's that's how I'm doing this, and then once I get this all in place, um, I will build the shulker box loader up at the top, which will do the usual thing of loading up shulker boxes full of potatoes, and we will uh, see how it goes. But like here, I've got potatoes, lots of potatoes. So I will. Uh, I'll. That's this is uh, this is coming along. Um, I will spend a little bit more time on it. I do have other things to be doing. Oh, that could have been dumb. Um, and I think I have to figure out how many more layers I'm going to put in here. I could cap it off it. I think I've got four in here now, but I've got. Let's see how many more potato farmers I have. Um, do 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 do. Come on. I have. These are my potato farmers over here. I've got four, four more potato farmers. And then I've got how many carrot farmers? I've got these four plus him and him. So I've got six potato farmers, six carrot farmers, four, four more potato farmers. So that means I have eight um, total potato farmers between those four and the guys that are down here. Um, and honestly, each of the layers is so easy to build. I don't see why I shouldn't be doing it. And I have room to put four more in here. So that means I need two more carrot farmers. So, so that's another side project is I will need to, uh, get drag over a couple more villagers and clean them of the carrots that they have in their possession. Uh, Cause even when this guy only had, I think he ended up having six carrots in his pocket when I got him over here. So that was relatively easy, but and I guess the other thing I could do at the villager at the village at the artificial village, I like having potatoes there because occasionally they dig up the poison potatoes and I may, and I collect those. Um, <clears throat> so that's, I like, I like that. Um, I like getting the poison potatoes, which I haven't been playing with the 1.14 snapshots, but um, I hope they do a little bit more with the whole suspicious stew. Um, it's a way of getting more effects than you can get normally. And the poison potato, of course, you should be able to use to brew up a suspicious stew, but I honestly I just haven't really... I haven't been playing with the snapshots because um, they seem wow I have bunnies all over the place here interesting um yeah so the the way they've been doing snapshots the last couple of releases is um, um, I understand trying to get the the updates out sort of on a regular basis or kind of on a schedule that's all fine and dandy it just seems it seems a little rushed and I must have opened that um, it seems a little rushed but uh, and one dot thirteen definitely was not ready for release when they released it. That was a little bit frustrating, but you know, whatever. Uh, so I figure I'll just let one out 14 come out. There's some neat features there. Um, nothing earth shattering. I don't think, um, and nothing that I'm like, Oh, it's the one out 13. There were a lot of aquatic features that were like, Oh, I really want that. Um, and it just never, uh, and you know, so we've we've got them now, like the tridents and and the um, dolphins, um, and so that's all that's all super cool. But ah, um, one not fourteen. 
I'm not, uh, I don't know. There's nothing there that's, that's been like, oh, I can't wait for that. Um, I'm a little concerned about, uh, accidentally causing a raid at my artificial village. Don't know quite what that would, what that would do. Um, very concerned about that and the safety of my, all my trading villagers. Um, the wandering villager is a neat idea, but it, it just seems kind of useless the way it's been implemented. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> that seems something that would be more useful in a single player world, but, um, and certainly once you already have access to all the different items that, that the, the wandering trader can trade being able to get four blocks of coral, for example, or four, you know, prismarine blocks as an early game thing, that could be really exciting. Um, so at some point when we reset the server, that might be very helpful. Um, but other than that, we've got, we've got resources at our, that are available to us. So I don't know. I'm just rambling. And we'll see how long it takes them to update Spigot. 1.13, there were a lot of changes under the hood. And I think that was the reason why it took so long to get the Spigot updated. Um, but we, we will see. I really need to clean up. I have all these chests laying around with stuff. Oh, there's some hoppers. I could use that. Um, yeah, just piles of chests laying around. It's kind of, kind of dumb. So, oh, hello, Mr. Big Slime. So, anyway, um, oh, yeah. One more thing to show you. Got a bunch of slime ball. Let's go out to the amusement park. So there's something new over here. Check this out. It's a gumball machine and it looks super awesome and it looks I mean it totally looks like a gumball machine um, and it's got these you know it's got the little tracks up through the center like some of them do and then it's got the gumballs themselves which are all different uh, I think it's concrete um, and then you can come down here I don't have a minecart on me but the track goes up and then it comes down Bloop. And I think the plan is to have it come down. Oh, yeah, that's right. And it leads down into this, which is uh, kind of cool. So Barb Makes Things has been digging out this whole area. So that's the little slime farm that she did. And then she's been coming in and just expanding the area just to dig it out. Um, there's additional slime chunks here, which make being around in here a little bit challenging at times, but, um, and I'm kind of wondering if we should like turn this into like a huge multi, multi chunk slime farm, but her slime farm's kind of doing its thing here. And lots of, uh, lots of slime balls. Side here. This all goes into here. Yeah. Oh, lots of slime balls. And yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of slime blocks. So we could help a little bit. Oh well, if, if my inventory weren't completely full, I could help with crafting up some of those into slime blocks. So this, yeah, so the this hopper line is uh, getting backed up. Oh, badly backed up. Okay. Well, anyway, so that's that's the updates here in the amusement park area. I still need to build my my planned um, racetrack. I'm gonna build a little racetrack using. Oh, um, 
using what? Um, oh, uh, boats. Yeah, on uh, packed ice. <clears throat> oh, and this is a nice little item. This is not an item. Elevator. It's a little water elevator, and it's a two-way. It's a two-way thing. If I step on here, it pushes the uh, soul sand block underneath. And if you step on the, the, the block up above, it pushes the magma block underneath. So that if you're down below, it gets you to the up above. And if you're up above, it gets you... Oh, there we go. It takes a few it takes a few moments. So now it's going down. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I think that's all I have for right now. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. Alright? Bye.